What up, Hyperchange? Welcome to another episode of Moonshot Monday. Today, we're going to talk about Tesla getting into battery recycling and a potential partnership with startup Redwood Materials. This story all starts with J.B. Strobel. He was an original co-founder of Tesla in 2003, worked with the company up until 2019 as the CTO, um, is widely regarded as the world's leading expert of lithium-ion batteries. He, he pioneered and commercialized the lithium-ion battery cell for electric vehicles, which is now inflecting the entire industry to the battery and powertrain combination that he developed at Tesla. So he is literally a world-leading expert in battery materials. The CTO of Tesla, now in 2019, has actually announced he is leaving uh, Tesla or moving into an advisory role to focus on other projects. Now let's rewind a little bit. In 2017, a filing was released. Uh, the SEC processed this filing that showed a $2 million investment in a new startup company called Redwood Materials based in Redwood City, California, right next to Tesla's battery skunk works facility in Palo Alto. The company described that it was working on advanced technology and process development for materials recycling, remanufacturing, and reuse. And the filing lists Tesla's co-founder and CTO, J.B. Straubel, and Tesla's head of special projects, Andrew Stevenson, as executive officers. So we have J.B. Straubel taking as one of his top guys to Tesla, raising two million bucks to start a battery recycling company in California in 2017. We don't really hear anything about it. It's extremely quiet. Um, they're basically in total stealth mode. Then in 2018, CNBC releases an article about Redwood Materials saying the company is expanding. They have registered to do business in Nevada. Looks like they're moving more of their overall business into the Nevada area. But interestingly enough, as anyone would speculate, what is the relationship between Tesla and uh, Red Materials? Tesla pumping out more electric vehicles and batteries than anyone in the world, obviously the most need to recycle those batteries. The CTO of uh, Tesla who developed that entire battery technology is starting a battery startup right in Nevada in the same place. Like, are they working together or not? Why was this developed outside of Tesla? Who knows? So many questions. But... In an email to CNBC, um, Straubel replies to this article in 2018 saying, Redwood is not currently doing any business with Tesla, and our expansion to Nevada is unrelated to Tesla or to the Gigafactory directly. The directly could be very key there, said Straubel. Northern Nevada has a welcoming business environment, a growing technology presence that gives us a foundation for aggressive future growth. That is even more interesting considering J.B. Straubel's comments at the 2018 Tesla shareholder meeting. When he was asked about battery recycling, uh, Straubel said, Tesla will absolutely recycle, and we do recycle all of our spent cells, modules, and battery packs. So the discussion about um, is this waste ending up in landfills is not correct. We would not do that. These are valuable materials. In addition, it's just the right thing to do. We have current partner companies on every major continent where we have cars operating that we work with to do this today. And in addition, we're developing internally more processes, and we're doing more R&D on how we can improve this recycling process to get more out of the active materials back. Ultimately, what we want is a closed loop right at the Gigafactory that reuses the same materials. So J.B. Straubel in 2018 even says the Gigafactory wants to have closed loop battery recycling. This mirrors comments by Kurt Kelty or Kelly, who is a former um, original, I think like top 10 employee of Tesla, who also said in 2017 at a speech that Tesla wanted to have battery recycling on site at the Gigafactory. So this is another clue saying like, how are Tesla and Redwood Materials not working together on this? And so if you go to the Red Materials website, I think this is to me where it all fit. The holy grail that uh, J.B. Straubel mentioned is this closed loop battery recycling. You're taking, you know, all these used battery packs, getting back all the materials, building new packs with them. And so instead of having to mine all these raw materials, it seems like it's going to be much more economical to reuse these spent battery packs. And the Tesla battery packs can last, you know, 5, 8, 10, 15 years. And so Tesla only started selling calls, cars in volume in 2012 or 2013. So we haven't seen the bulk of these battery packs that need to be recycled come online, but it's about to be a massive wave that will not stop and there's going to be a huge demand for battery recycling technology and especially trying to get as closed loop as possible essentially reusing as much as possible so your dependence on outside mining is as minimal um, as as minimal as you can make it and so red materials go to their website and check out their logo if this isn't more obvious that they want to get into closed loop battery recycling i don't know what is they're literally the, the double o's in their logo are like closed loop battery recycling or closed loop recycling so um and if you go to the website there's almost nothing on it um they are say we are hiring at our Northern Nevada facility. If you're passionate about sustainability, chemistry and materials and science, advanced equipment design and automation, and using technology to solve diff difficult environmental problems, you would enjoy working here. They have a, uh, you know about 10 or 15 uh, full-time positions and internships open. So it looks like they're hiring rapidly. They're expanding. They're located right in Nevada. They're working on closed loop battery recycling. And the same executive, JB Travel, who started the company, said Tesla wants to do battery recycling at the Gigafactory. So what does this all add up to? What am I building up to here? 
I think Tesla, well, first of all, I think it's very, very weird that this technology was not developed within Tesla. Like, why was this not just a part of Tesla's battery and energy division to work on recycling programs? If, like JB says, they're already recycling at the Gigafactory, why would he start a totally new recycling company um, by himself? I think it's so, so interesting. And if you go to JB Straubel's LinkedIn page, um, he has co-founder of Redwood Materials. He says he's based in Washu Valley, which I did a quick Google map, is only a 49-minute drive from the Tesla Gigafactory. I think the final shoe to drop in all of this is Redwood Materials has the technology to do this battery licensing and they will license it to Tesla. So I think there's a partnership in the works. This is sort of an out of left field theory I have for battery and powertrain investor day is Tesla announces a plan to recycle batteries and that plan will include a partnership with Redwood Materials could be very similar to the partnership they had with Panasonic at the Gigafactory where P Panasonic leases space at the Gigafactory to build cells. Instead, Redwood Materials could lease space at the Gigafactory to recycle spent battery packs. And if you think about it, this would give Redwood Materials more flexibility to then offer this same technology to other automakers and battery companies down the road that are not just Tesla. But the point is, I think Tesla is on the cusp of pushing into and announcing a major plan to recycle their vehicle's batteries. And I think there's a very, very good chance that plan involves Redwood materials. So this is going to be something I'm following very closely on the channel. It's extremely hard to get information on red materials, but there's just something super fishy and weird brewing here with the rate of growth, with the hiring, with the proximity to Gigafactory, with JB Stravel's involvement in both. I think there is something that is about to drop news-wise um, in the coming year or two about a partnership between these two companies. And if there's not a partnership between these two companies, that's almost even weirder. So. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. Do you know anything about Redwood Materials? Have you heard about what they're working on? Do you think a partnership with Tesla and Redwood is imminent? Because I do. Anyway, this is HyperChange. Uh, huge shout out to our Patreon supporters and producers funding the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.